Hello, this is Vicky. Welcome to my kitchen again. Now I will show you how to bake an almond and sour cherry tart. It is delicious and very nice looking and easy to make. Ingredients and instructions how to bake it are listed in the description below. Okay, you take a batter out of the refrigerator straight from the fridge, chop it and add to it spices. Half a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of ground nutmeg, ground cloves and uh, half, a, half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon as well. Uh, top it up with all three dry ingredients, sour, uh, sorry, sugar, flour and ground almonds. With a thick knife, chop and mix everything for lo thoroughly. Try to chop the butter and now begin mixing with your own hands, trying to form gradually a ball of this mixture. It will take a little bit of time, maybe two or three minutes altogether, depends how warm are your hands, and add zest of one lemon. Keep clamping it together. At the moment the mixture is loose, but in two or three minutes the dough will become more and more pliable and eventually everything will stick nicely together. Keep on working on a mixture I, until you will have one solid lump of dough in your hands. And the bowl will become just empty of crumbs, you know. You will incorporate all the crumbs from the bowl, from the mixing bowl into that dough. Form it and stick it together nicely. Give it a try, it is solid, and put it into the plastic bag for well-deserved half an hour rest in the refrigerator. You can actually keep it longer in the fridge if you wish, or even overnight, but actually one half an hour of rest is enough for the dough to mature. In the meantime, Cut a circle from the baking paper and line a tart tin with it, just in case the tart wants to stick to the tin. Cut one quarter of the dough for the lattice work, one quarter for the uh, border and the rest will go for the base of the pie. To, to make the base of the pie you have to just produce some slices, you know, from the lump, you know, that you've got in front of you. You know, don't, don't be afraid, you know, maybe they will break a little bit, but cut uh, more or less the same thickness of the slices and try to feed them on the baking paper there. And with the smaller pieces, you know, just uh, fill in the gaps in between the larger uh, slices. That is self-explanatory, uh, you know, this picture. Just press it nicely together. Try to make it even. The next step is a little bit more tricky. You have to just use a little bit of flour, put it on your working surface and try to roll the dough into the, well, you know, sausages. And this will form the border that you will put on the edges, you know, of the pie. Decorate it the way you wish. You can use some other imprints if you feel like that. Or no imprints altogether, doesn't matter, really. Now is the time to uh, use stuffing. At the moment I am putting cranberry conserve on it. I quite like it with the cranberry, but it will be topped up with the sour cherry in a moment. And that will be absolutely fantastic combination when it comes to flavor. And the color as well. Now is the time to put the borders there. And uh, just press it gently. 
constantly overdo it, persistently all around the tin, and um, you can actually go over with your fork, you know, just to neaten it up a little bit. And then there is time to fill it more properly because the next step will be to place the lattice on top of that. So that is the last, just, I would say, moment when you are doing uh, stuffing there. Now is the time to use the remaining quarter of the dough. Just time to make a lattice work, that ornamental crisscross on top of the pie. Uh, roll a sausage, divide each sausage into four pieces and um, treat it gently because it can still break under your energetic touch, you know, press with the fork, just give it a little bit more interest, you know, and place it gently over the pie. Uh, it more or less um, evenly spaced, but it's not really that terribly important. You know, use your imagination, you can actually invent your own way of decorating the pie. But originally what I did see was the crisscross of lattice, so I will follow it from my memory, as it used to be many years ago in Germany, when this pie was called Linzer Torta. It was very popular at the local cafe. So, there we are, coming to the close of the process before putting it into the already preheating oven. The temperature will be 180 degrees Celsius. Now, when you're happy with the looks of the top of the pie, you know, there is time to turn your attention to the egg. Take the egg yolk and mix it with one tablespoon of water. And with the brush, brush it all over the lattice and the border of the pie and this way you will give it a nice glaze. You will see it uh, browning nicely in the oven. Place it in preheated oven, the temperature should be 180 centigrade, and set your kitchen clock for 60 minutes. The smell of the pie will fill your kitchen, it will be irresistible, but you better cool it for half an hour before you serve it and enjoy it. <laughs>